So I found seven different gluten-free pretzels and we're gonna try every single one of them to determine what is the best gluten-free pretzel your money can buy at a grocery store. Let's do it. Let's hear a round of applause for my beautiful co-host. Hi. <laughs> and we're gonna start from the least to the most expensive. Snack factory. Price. Ingredient. Nutrition facts. Cheers. Mukbang. These are the cheapest by far, but they're also only five ounces, so it's a smaller bag. If you like a pretzel that's salty, but not too salty, these are the ones for you. These are your guys. If you like a crunchy pretzel, these are the ones for you. <laughs> it's really the two things that you need in a pretzel, salt and crunch. But these don't look super salty on first sight. The salt kind of like sneaks up on you. It's just like a... They're also buttery. Honestly, we've had these plenty of times. Big fans. These are the ones that are usually in our in our pantry. This is the real size on the bag. No. Oh, okay. Touche. They don't lie. I think this is gonna be tough to beat. So these are my favorite gluten-free pretzels, but I have not had any of the other ones. So I know. I can't say that. Yeah, we're excited. Sure. <laughs> Moving on. Good health. Price. Ingredient. Nutrition facts. A picture of our dog Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We're not in the snack factory anymore, baby. Good health. These things are humongous. These could be some cute earrings. <laughs> yeah. On first instinct, yeah, these are huge, but um, they seem like they're gonna be coarse. They seem like they're gonna be extremely crunchy. Cheers. Little underwhelming crunch. They have a really good taste. They have an aftertaste. Once I say it, you're gonna recognize it. I feel like it has an aftertaste of, if you got, if you know what sorghum I tastes like. I eat sorghum plain all the time, so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. But if you're gluten-free, you probably know what sorghum tastes like, and it has a kind of undercurrent of sorghum at the end. It has a pretty good flavor. It's just a little bit more coarse and grainy yeah. than the other one, because it's not paper thin. But the graininess is subtle. It's like it, when you're biting it, it's kind of like sandiness. Yes. I would say the flavor's pretty good. It's not as salty as the other one. I think this is more salty. Sorry, right, you know, salty. I'm wrong, I guess. It almost tastes like a pretzel rod. Because of the thickness? Yeah, it's a different experience. Do you want to experience eating sorghum? Try this. I wanted to make a note that every single one of the pretzels we're trying is certified gluten-free. Round of applause for that, right? Moving on. <laughs> no drink breaks. From, From the, the ground, ground up. up. Price. Ingredients. Nutrition facts. Serrano doing the Dougie. Whoa! Whoa! So these are cauliflower pretzels. They sound, smell like food you give to the goats at the zoo. It does. Ooh. Hmm. It tastes like a veggie stick. I like these. It has a flavor to it. It has that cauliflavor it like a piece to it. Of cauliflower, but you put in the air fryer. It's a little charred. It does taste like a charred cauliflower puff. It's less ingredients than the previous two, I'm pretty sure. It's like a little softer when you bite into it. The crunch is a little bit like a stale crunch. It's, it has a good crunch crunchy, though. But in the mouth, it's not. Mm -hmm. I feel like you bite it and it just like dissolves right away and it just like vanishes after it's in your mouth. Like it doesn't go down the pipe. I feel like you could plant these and grow a cauliflower. This um, one is 20 pretzels per serving. The other two were 14. This is the smallest ounces of a bag that we have. This isn't gonna taste like a, a pretzel that you know and love. It's gonna taste like a healthier pretzel. But if that's what you want, then this is gonna fit that desire. Tastes like a plate of veggies. It does. Get my daily broccoli in. Let me get my daily green bean intake. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Snyder's. Price. Ingredients. Nutrition facts. A candelabra. Cheers. Whoa. I feel like I almost chipped my tooth. Yeah. These are, I would say these are a fan favorite. When I posted that I was doing this video, I got so many DMs, people saying like, Snyder's is the best. Whoever you are saying these are the best, bye. I feel like these taste the most like a glutinous pretzel that I remember. These are so crunchy though. Yeah. I like that. So crunchy, so salty. The taste is a little off. This is like, I have to double check, yeah. It's gluten free. I think it's literally like a one to one to a pretzel. The first ingredient is cornstarch. Mm. So these are really, really small, but they're mini pretzels. The serving size, this one, take a guess, take a guess. You're wrong. It's 23 pretzels per serving. That's mm -hmm. a lot. It's a lot of pretzels. Yeah, this is a bigger bag, eight ounces. So this is actually almost double the size of the cauliflower ones for the same price. More bang for your buck here. If you want more of a pretzel y 
pretzel. Wait, we have had these. Yeah, we've had them all the time. I've made chocolate covered pretzels with these. They're great Very for Very good. Maybe that's why I didn't recognize the taste. Would you say this is the crunchiest? Oh yeah, okay. way crunchier than the snack factory ones. All right, pretty good. Good stuff. I don't like them. Move it on. Quinn. 23. Quinn 23 is gluten free. Is he? It rhymes. So he isn't, it just rhymes. Quinn 23 is gluten free. Yeah, that's a bar. Price. Ingredients. Nutrition facts. Quinn Nipiak University. Go Bobcats. Oh, these are like a different shape. These they look like organically shaped. These look like I can see through them. They're like translucent. You know what I'm saying? They, they look like I, there's a ton of air. If you hold them up like this, you can. it's like an egg. You can see the baby can, chicken. I can't like even growing. see it. Yeah. There's so much air in between all that pretzel. These are awful. I wouldn't know, I wouldn't say they're awful, but compared to the other ones. I think awful. like it is a lot of air in the middle of this pretzel. It's filled with air. It's like 80% air, 20% grain or whatever. It's like a tunnel in there. It's yeah. just all air. So you bite into it and it, it just has like it just has give. It just kind of like collapses. Yeah, you expect it to be crunchy, but on the Richter sliding scale of crunch, it's not there. Give it to him. Not there. I have a three. You heard it here first, three on the Richter scale. It's a crunchy-ish, but it's it's like very stale. It also has like a cardboard taste. It's Whole made grain with- Whole grain sorghum flour. It doesn't taste as sorghum-y as the I other one. I should have known. You should, you, you eat a, it. I take a dose of sorghum in That's, the morning. You should know. We like the brand Quinn. We like their stuffed pretzels, like Those the combo so dupes. Good. It's vegan friendly. It's like good ingredients. We're a fan of the brand. I think we're just not a fan of this. And honestly- also, they make my mouth feel so starchy inside after. Like my mouth feels dry. Yeah, it's not super salty okay. either. It's oh. corn free though, which is interesting because a lot of these have corn starch. Move it on. Glutzino. Price. Ingredients. Nutrition facts. Do you ever get no? Cheers. Cheers. Big time crunch. Gluten, yes. Wow, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. These are very good. Might be a 4.99 on the Richter scale. Oh. You bite into these things? Corn starch, first ingredient. I think that's the key to the crunch. I'd say it's a great, great crunch. Taste Tastes is pretty good. good. These leave your mouth feeling starchy though too. Just like the previous one, the Quinn. But the crunch is there, the taste is there. Yeah, and a good amount of salt too. No dairy, no soy, no egg. Oil. There's something about it though. I know I use this word all the time, but it feels a little grainy. Maybe the G in gluten-free stands for grainy. I like it. I'm impressed. I call it a gluten yes. Move it on. Ratify. Ratify. Price. Ingredients. Nutrition facts. Kermit the Frog doing the doggy again. So these are uh, all sorts of different shapes. You get a triangle and I get a square. Cause you're a square. <laughs> she has a point. Four points. Oh. These are the most expensive per ounce. They taste very good. They're kind of like that sandy texture again. There's a lot of soy in this. Graininess. I'm a soy boy right now. And may contain sesame. So if you have a sesame allergy. I feel like we just went through the absolute ringer of crunch. And now this is like some mercy being bestowed upon us. There's not really any salt. Yeah, not at all. There's like a, a sweet taste to it yeah. as well. They're oven baked. Maybe that's why. I just don't know if like for the price point and looking at the ingredients, I don't think it's like that different than the other ones that it should be almost a dollar more expensive. There's other styles Yeah. Of pretzels. Honestly, those are better. I saw these other things and I wanted to buy them, but I wanted to keep it consistent with the kind of pretzel that we got. I'll give it the taste. There's no crunch to it. This is like a pretzel you would give to someone who isn't gluten-free and they would be like, that's gluten-free. They taste pretty good. It's just the crunch isn't there and the salt isn't there. So we tried every single gluten-free pretzel on the market and came to two different conclusions for what's our favorite. I'll go first. Mine is this one. Good health. Bravo. And mine is Snyder's. Boo. <laughs> Let us know what we should taste test next. Please make it something good. <laughs> Peace.